Hey guys, Trey for Quinchalina today, and we're back with B-Star episode 3. My god, I was just about to go to bed, and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna have one less check. Look what popped up, B-Star's episode 3, so looks like I'm not going to bed yet. This show has been fantastic. The biggest surprise to me so far is the fact that the character Lewis, in episode 1, I thought was a villain. I thought he was a jerk, I thought he looked really evil. And by the end of episode 2, I was just like, my god, he's actually not that bad of a guy. He's under a lot of pressure. Still a bit of a jerk, but overall a nice guy and he's doing sacrifices like for his leg. He went he grabbed someone even though he knew it would probably injure him. And then going through the pain and all the pressure on him, I'm sort of like, Alright, I understand where it's coming from. And that's something special that not always an anime can do with in one episode. To me, if they could do that with Lewis's character, I feel like quite a lot of these characters in the show are gonna be really interesting. We obviously end off with the massive cliffhanger of is it Horu? So Legacy gave um, uh, signs to Horu that looked like he wanted to have sex. One of the things that is, even though she jumped to that conclusion, one thing I do, the way the dialogue was done, I liked how she said, like, she thought he was different and she was treating him like, oh, maybe this guy's different. And the amount of disappointment you could hear in the voice actor's voice and in the lines when she thought um, Legolas, is, Legolas is like every other guy. But obviously my guy's not like that. He just was really nervous and not wanted to speak. But it, I can see why it came across as a, he, she, he was looking for a favour in that way. See, see, a lot of people calling her a bitch and a slag in that lot in the comments. I noticed last episode because of what she did. But like, to me, personally, if a guy can sleep round and have sex with people and not be knocked to slut, and it's more pretty much like, yeah, bro, you did it. Nice one, nice one. I say the girls could do the same thing. If a girl wants to sleep about or she just sleeps with people, like, I don't know why people judge. Like, everyone's got their vices and things they're addicted to or things are you things are do and it's just like yeah you can label them if you want one i know nothing about her past two i don't know what she's gone through three we i only know of rumors and that lot so yeah she probably might have slept from that reaction she probably has slept around but to me it doesn't really matter like i've seen people when i used to be at school you see people you see some terrific horrific things what people have said to people and you know if they slept with three people it's just like suddenly they label a slot and it's just like yeah i don't i don't know i just i don't know some of the comments where i've seen that people were saying like oh she's such a bitch now after the episode i'm like this bit judgmental to me if someone sleeps around it's not that big of a deal it's just like that that's a personal choice that they've took and yeah i don't know what do you what do you guys think of that do you think like being sluts are massively sleeping around is a massively bad thing i was like to me if you're not committed to a relationship or sleeping about I don't see the problem that's a choice and like people people I hate to break it to you that a lot of people do do that and it's just like yeah uh <laughs> i don't see the point of judging but i did like i said i do like the response i like how you could tell she was disappointed so clearly she just so that, that she does want to just have like a friendship without sleeping with them uh so i'm really curious to see how their relationship builds upon each other and how they're going to bounce off and what sort of problems might occur and bumps bumps as I'm guessing they're going to get together, judging by the intro. And then we've got all the other dark stuff going on with that. Like, That's why I love about the Shuffy show. He's not just got this bit. Like, I, I love romance and all that a lot, but it's also got the drama, the mystery, the who's the murderer still. That, like, oh, I've got distracted by all the slice of life stuff. I forgot that we've still got the murderer to figure out who that is. I don't have a clue who that is. That, that's all so cool. So this show's got a lot going for it. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. But guys, if you enjoyed this reaction, leave a like, subscribe, and let's jump into this. Oh, cheating. See, that I say Haru, the fact that he's cheating on his mistress, he should be. It's pretty bad. <laughs> All right, guys, talk about exaggerating the rumors. She sleeps with people. Calm down. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see his reaction. <laughs> he just, he's just a complete shock. <laughs> the hell you will? <laughs> oh. He's such a lad. I love how innocent he is. <laughs> you read him wrong, love. You did? I love how he goes to cover <laughs> What a lad, I love him. What a guy. <laughs> oh, oh, he, mate, legend. He went up my body, but I love how he didn't even just walk off. He covered her up, then left. That was, oh, what a G. I love how confused she is. 
He's different. He's called the ultimate gentleman. Me, I'm liking that she's a bit different from your usual female character. I like that. I, that's different to me. Like the, the, the anime tend to just avoid that sort of side. Mate, this could be an interesting romance. I'm looking forward to it. Mate, I got so much more respect for my boy. I don't know if I don't even spread rumours about it either. I love how he just sees like through already. I love the little door as well and the big door. I love him. He's good. He's such a good main character. <laughs> In three episodes, I already love him. You know what? At the end of this, I'd be like, if I had to rank my top ten characters this season, I think I've struggled. I've struggled quite a lot. There's been so many good characters this season. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. He's so self-aware. <laughs> Wait, what a lad. Like you tried to eat her, she tried to do that. It's like, which one's worse, technically? Mate, he's a good main character. I like him. Can't wait to see how he develops. I wonder how animal ages work in this world then. Like, like would a mouse have a lower time in school than like other animals? <laughs> Imagine being told off by this guy. <laughs> Got a little desk. <laughs> oh, I love the kind of oh mate, this shit's so good. I love how they just want to humiliate him basically. It makes you feel sorry for him more. Like when you're that popular and that important, people want to see you fail. So like they uh, so you're just more of a target for snakes. I love the way that's cool. I, it's been doing this a few times, you know, it has the two characters talking and as I'm like, ah, I love that because you get to see the reaction of Lewis like in the way he's looking and stuff. This anime is doing some really cool things. I was just showing the hand gesture, that's so neat. I don't know why, the angles, the, the camera angles are really good. I love the hints of like sort of regret on Lewis's face. The way they, I'm sorry, but the way they animate the face, the way, just the amount of emotion you can tell what they do, what they do, what with what they do with the animation is fantastic. I, I like I said that because he's like, mate, it's so interesting. I love it. <laughs> the room is rather hot today. <laughs> Is my man going to make his move? Is he going to do what no anime cap character can do and ask someone on a date? He'd be he'd be beating off, beating up like be be better than that half the anime or anime males in rom coms and rom dramas. You got a crush. Mate, my boy, I like that. I like how he's already like, mate, I like how he wants to explore it again instead of, instead of trying to f crush it or just like, what is this feeling? Oh, I don't understand. Mum wants to investigate. I can like feel the pressure for him as well. I'm glad they added that little bit in with the, the news crew, just adding that little bit with the woman like, oh, we might be able to see him mess up. Oh god, the fact he can run on that. Mm. Ah, yeah, fucker. He's gonna hurt himself seriously. Right, oh, he made it. Is he making it pretty far ahead? His leg's gonna be damaged for good though after this, isn't it? I hope he's not seriously injured himself. I'm getting worried for him, mate. It's gonna end there. Oh, I just want to jump into the next episode. Ah, oh, you know, I don't even look. The one time I'm looking for a preview, which if you know you've watched my reactions for a while, you know I never look at the previews. It's not got one. I didn't want it to end there. I hope he's alright. <laughs> I should care for him already. That's sad. I don't want him to, like, permanently injure himself. Huh.
do you know what? I can't complain that episode was fantastic. I like Haru because she's a bit different from usual females. She doesn't shy away from the sex thing. I like how you could hear the, you could see the regret on her face, the like misunderstanding of the situation, the way Legos respond, Legos respond, Legos responded was fantastic. It's such, such a gentle man. I love how he's not afraid of these feelings. He's feel like having a crush, you know, feeling happy and that. I don't have to find a crush or something. I like how they just did that. And I like, hopefully he's going to be a lot more different from a usual anime romance character where it takes 50 episodes to even hold their hand. I feel like my boy's already, like the fact he already says he wants to see her again. is pretty awesome. So I feel like this is going to be a bit more of a like, a mature romance or something like that, which I enjoy. Um, I can't wait for them to talk again. Like I already want to see them together again. Uh, just like show you how rumours and how labelling people, how bad and terrible it really is. Like everyone labelling Lewis is perfect and that a lot. And then just giving you a scene with the, with the media like, oh, I want to see him screw up and get a picture of it. It just shows that like, he, like he, he's put himself in a position that way. He has to keep being that, that he's best because people want to tear him down because that's how people are. Um, even if he can be a jerk sometimes, I love you could just see the pure regret on his face after what he did to Leonidas. Le- 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 because he, what he was saying, what I liked to what Le- Legus noticed, it wasn't towards him. It was him pretty much hating on himself. But obviously he was there. He was the one taking the brute of it. And he handled everything perfectly again. Very fantastic main character. I'm loving him so much. He's one of my probably my favourite main characters of this anime season. Because I'm, I'm thinking Vinland Saga... I like Askeladd, but he's not a main character. I love Tondro, but I don't know. He, this this guy, he's got a lot more layers to him than I've already. Got a lot of layers to him already, and I love this thought process, and he's a sort of main character I've wanted to do in a robot anime for so long. And I get in this, and I'm just enjoying it quite a lot. I think this is episode three. It's pretty much said to me now, this is going to be one of my probably one of my favourite animes of the season, of this, of this anime year. Um... Like I say, I think if this if this stays really good and Villain Soccer doesn't drop, and that stays really good, I'm gonna have a struggle getting my put my top five together. Gotta be honest. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed the action. If you didn't, leave a like, subscribe. I hope to see you next week.